everyone in this video we are going to build a rest api for a bookstore from scratch so we are going to start from this video that is we are going to begin by setting up our environment and then from there we are going to start building the application so what you can see here is just a postman and you're going to look at this http um, status codes for example all methods that is we have get po post we have put we have patch delete now we're going to look at how they play a role when you are requesting for that is when you are sending an http request so that for example you can view books so for example apis slash books you are able to see all the books within your database you can also do authorization whereby we can add a token here and then here you choose of course the bearer and then the bearer token and then and this would be when you're authenticating a user that is you want to ensure the users who are accessing uh, the application are authenticated uh, by using that is a token uh, authentication that is for authorization if the person is a user or is an admin all right so we are going to be looking at uh, such and um, let's get started so what you need to have in this video is that you need to have what we call the the tools that you're going to be using and one of them is this postman here so you need to have postman installed with you you can access postman just on just type in postman and be taken to the website so this is a website and then you can download postman and begin using it now the other tool that i'm using here is zam so i'm using zam the server is a patch and then the database is mysql so that is simple enough and then of course i'm using my text editor where i've already installed the the laravel 10 so this video i'm using laravel 10 however we already have laravel 11 but we are going to use laravel 10 for now so so those are the tools that i'm using throughout this application so let's get started now the first thing you need to do you need to ensure that you have these prerequisites before we continue so if i go to my terminal here that is terminal here so one of the things you need to have on this terminal here let me clear this is that you need to have php mm -hmm. and you can run this command to check what php do you have so the first thing is run that command and you can see here i have php 8.2.0 so that is the first thing the next thing you also need to have remember we are looking at the tools that you need to have before we go any further you also need to have composer installed and composer is a dependency manager for php and what it does is that you can use it to install dependencies for php that is when you're running php that is for example when you hit control p and you go to composer.json for example here you're able to see for example the laravel uh, framework that we have and of course as i've told you i'm using laravel 10 and then of course we have other dependencies so composer is very important to play these roles of installing uh, dependencies that you need within your application All right so that is it so you need to have this one installed uh, now the next thing you need to have is just now to install laravel the laravel of course framework and this is how you can do it now for you to have laravel installed you need to run this command and what this command does is that it is going to install my bookstore and remember here we are on zam ht docs and then the name of the project so here i've indicated laravel 10 because that's what i want us to work with if i leave it by default it is going to install the latest laravel 11 and remember laravel 11 has had changes so so that's why we're going with laravel 10 okay so now once you have that installed then you are good to go so you need to use that command to install your laravel now the next thing you need to to have is to set up a virtual host and what is a virtual host so a virtual host is a single web server 
like a patch just like this a patch here and what it can do is that if i go to a patch and then i go to config and then i click on that and then i hit control f so here i can type a virtual host like that now when i hit virtual host you can see now this is what this is what i get now when you look at this one you can see this is basically the virtual host uh, that i'm talking about so we have what we call the document root whereby this is s zam HD docs learning php so this part as you can see this part is this part here that is when i go to my softwares and then i go to uh, zam like this and then i click that folder and then here i can go to HD docs so this is the part that i'm talking about here as you can see as zam HD docs so what is happening here is that this part here is the part what we call is what we call the document root which of course it shows the url of where the project files are stored and that is what we have there in other words where the project files are located and then the server name here is learn for example this is learning php let's look at the one for the bookstore so for example server name here is my bookstore.local basically this means that you can see here i already have the laravel uh, 10 running here which is my bookstore.local so you need to indicate the server name and then the directory here you're also going to give it the same as the document root because the directory basically when you say my bookstore slash public it means that within your laravel application we have what we call the public folder so the public folder is um if i type this you can see where we have the h h that is dot ht access we have the public um folder here so this one is the front facing public uh, folder which in other words folder which of course is the one that is responsible for rendering your application on the browser here so that is what you need to know that's why it is it has to be public like that and uh, then the other one is logs my bookstore then error log basically these ones you can find them within your exam so you just need to to be on your exam and basically here is where we have the project the project files but then within your exam here you can identify the error logs for your given application here so you just need to find them here and then you have them that is for your php application here all right now once you have that one um, what is the next thing so the next thing here is to yeah so your virtual host is basically set up it is using post it is listening on port 8 and you need to have it like this so you just need to open your apache then go to config and then uh, open this file and then copy and paste this and then give it your name of your project that you have installed with that is you have installed and then you are good to go all right so once you have that one set the other thing we need to set is to come on dot env file which is this one here and what i need to do here is i need to come on the app url so on this app url is you're going to have something like this and remember i'm using a uh, github copilot for code suggestions you just need to have that in mind so here uh, this is a book so this is going to be my book bookstore and then this should be dot local like that because basically that is what we are working with right so once you have that one you can go ahead and restart your patch here by hitting stop and then start again like that all right so that is it now the other thing you need to set up is your database and to do that one you just need to come here and for example i'll have this my bookstore like that 
and then within your um, PHP admin, you access it by going to 127.0.0.1 slash PHP admin. And what you can do here is just eat new here. And then once you eat new, type my book store. Remember the database has to match with what you have here. So that is the DB database and then click create. So the database is going to be created, which is my book my bookstore like that and then once you have that one set you're good to go um yeah so that is it now the next thing we need to do i need you to do here is to come here uh, let's go to the terminal and within the terminal what i want you to do is to run this command php artisan um, make and then here is model and then here is book then model like this then it and what this command does is that it's going to create for you the model which is book.php and you can investigate that one by checking out the models uh, directory and you can see inside there we have book.php at the same time it has created a uh, books table so that is what we have all right so we can look on each control p and then type books and you can see within the books there i have the books um table here now then this book table here i can since we are building a symbol rest api we are going to have several things for example table title we are going to have outer then next we are going to have isbn and this isbn is going to be it's going to be unique so this is going to be unique like that for every book so that every book is going to be unique the other one here is going to be going to be decimal like this and then inside there we are going to have a price and so yeah so this price is going to have eight maximum of eight digits and then two decimal places so after the digits and then the timestamp is going to remain as it is so that is our table that we have so what i can do here is that let me clear this again i can go ahead and run php artisan uh, migrate like that and that's what we have so the table has been migrated you can investigate this by clicking my bookstore and you can see this is what we have the books table is this one here all right now before we go further i just want to explain something here is that um the layout of the project so before we go to the next step what is the layout of this project so this project that we are building since we are focused on building an api so there is no fancy visual front end at this time and the layout will primarily be in form of a conceptual diagram that is basically this is the conceptual diagram that we are going to use um so that you can understand so here we're going to have the user client we are going to have http request which are going to be made and the http request you can see here is get as you can see here we have get we have post we have put patch delete so those are the get those are the http request and we are sending them as an api to the bookstore and basically we have what we call the database uh, queries so the database queries whereby we are going to perform a query within our database so that we can now for example add data or delete or um, show data that is from the database and as well as um, i've talked about that is store for example so store data so that is what we're going to be doing within our book database and basically that is this the architecture of our application that we are building here all right now let's go to the next step whereby now we'll create the controller to handle the api logic and also set up the routes 